golf courses are built pretty much by the hand of God. The positioning of the holes and the tees are just natural choices. My name is Marty Carr and I am the Chief Executive Officer of Carr Golf. My father, Joe Carr, is recognised as the greatest amateur golfer ever to come out of these islands. He won 40 championships and was the first Irishman to play in the Masters. As far back as I can remember, we've been welcoming golfers from all over the world to come and stay in our house when my father was in his heyday. All we've done with Carr Golf Travel is to formalise that hospitality which we've been extending for years. So we decided to set up a company looking after discerning golfers from all over the world. One of the most important things on a golf trip is the driver who takes you around. It's a personal relationship. He's like your personal concierge for the week. We're leaving Port Marnock Golf Club. Now I'm going to head up to the home course of Sutton Golf Club, which was the Carr family home course. The golf tour can last from anything from five to nine days. And we just make sure that all arrangements are taken care of. Hotels, transport, entertainment, all the great restaurants like Chapter One, a Michelin star restaurant. I suppose the Michelin star was the second best thing I've ever done after cooking for the Queen Elizabeth II. I think where we fit in nicely with Car Golf is that their customers are looking for an authentic Irish golfing experience. And really, my hallmark and the hallmark of Chapter One is providing exceptional Irish hospitality, making people feel comfortable and at ease. And we provide, I suppose, a snapshot of the landscape. I think Irish whisky is an integral part of the experience and I think the journey through the distilleries in Ireland is a story in itself. By the end of the 1800s, Irish whisky was the most popular whisky in the world. There were 88 distilleries in Ireland. By 1966, there were only five left. The Irish whisky industry was almost wiped out. Now we have hit the renaissance of Irish whisky and today there are about 25 distilleries around the country. So if a group golf in the morning, they have four hours in the afternoon free. Then we go on the guided tour through the full production process, and then for the best part, back in here to taste two more of our award-winning whiskies. Golf has been going on in Ireland for many, many, many years. We've got almost 400 golf courses. They're spoiled for choice when they get here. They love the Irish people, they love the food, and they love the little drink.